Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1969, long listed problem number 29, proposed by East Germany. We wish to find the number of solutions t between 0 and pi over 4 to the equation sine to the power of 4 of t minus cosine to the power of 4 of t equals lambda tangent to the fourth power of t minus cotangent to the fourth power of t, where lambda is a real parameter. So find the number of solutions in terms of lambda as a function of lambda. And by the way, uh, my wording of this problem is slightly modified from the original. In original it was divided into four parts and the exact formulation of the problem is not, not exactly clear to me because Mm, only in the last part it was said that t is from 0 to pi over 4, but you will, I will provide the link in the description, you can try it yourself. Uh, I will solve this version. So, here are my hints. Well, notice first that since t is from 0 to pi over 4, sine is greater than 0 and is less than cosine. Also, this identity will be useful. Sine of 2 times t equals 2 cosine of t sine of t. And also, also notice that function which takes number t from 0 to pi over 4 and maps it to sine squared of 2 times t, this function is strictly increasing and is positive. And finally, uh, try to express lambda as a function of sine squared of 2 times t. So give this problem a try. All right, so let's take our equation and let's transform it a little bit. First of all, let's, let's write tangent of sine as sine to the fourth power over cosine to the fourth power. And let's write cotangent as cosine to the fourth over sine to the fourth. All right, and now let's multiply by sine to the fourth, cosine to the fourth power. Equals lambda. And we have sine to the eighth power of t minus cosine to the eighth power of t. And also, let's now do the following. Let's leave the left hand side as it is. And on the right hand side, let's write sine to the fourth power of t minus plus cosine to the fourth power of t, sine to the fourth power of t minus cosine to the fourth power of t. All right. And now notice that since t is from zero to pi over four, sine is less than cosine. So these terms are negative. They are negative. So we can divide by them, and nothing is no solution is lost by division. And now uh, here we have sine to the fourth power plus cosine to the fourth power. I will write it in the following way as cosine squared plus sine squared, everything squared. But I have introduced two cosine squared sine squared, so I have to subtract them, which I will do. All right, now this is one, and also what I will do, I will multiply on both sides by 16. So 16 cosine to the fourth power, sine to the fourth power equals, and I will write it in the following way, eight times lambda, two minus four, cosine squared of t, sine squared of t. All right, and now look closely. This can be written as sine to the fourth power of two times t because of this identity, sine of two times alpha equals two cosine of alpha, sine of alpha. Likewise, this expression is sine squared of two times t. All right, and also notice that this whole parenthesis is, of course, greater than zero. So we can divide by it and we'll have eight times lambda equals 
uh, sine to the fourth power of 2 times t over 2 minus sine squared of 2 times t. <clears throat> All right. And now let's investigate this function, this function right here. Uh, let's call it uh, f of t. All right. And now notice the following. First of all, what is f of 0? If we set t to be 0, we get 0. What is f of pi over 4? If I set t to be pi over 4, then I have sine squared of pi over 2, so it's 1, over 2 minus sine squared of pi over 2, so it's 2 minus 1, so it's 1. And also notice the following, that function which takes a real number from 0 to pi over 4 and returns sine squared 2 times t, this function is strictly increasing. And of course positive. All right, so notice now that let's investigate our fraction. Sine to the fourth power of 2 times t over 2 minus sine squared of 2 times t. First, the numerator is increasing. It is increasing. While the denominator is decreasing because we have minus in front. Strictly, by the way. So, what about the whole fraction? Well, the whole fraction, uh, the numerator increases, the denominator decreases. The whole fraction is increasing. So, f of t, f, which takes number from 0 to pi over 4, is strictly increasing. Strictly increasing, and moreover, and is continuous. Uh, and its range, its range, since it is continuous and strictly increasing, its range is the interval from 0 to 1. All right, and now we have our answer that namely if if a times lambda is in the interval 0 1 then our equation has exactly one solution And if 8 times lambda is not in the interval from 0 to 1, then our equation has no solutions. No solutions. All right. So, in other words, maybe I will write, I will divide by 8. So I will have this and this and this is our answer to our problem uh, or at least my understanding of the problem all right oh, horrible ellipses all right so thank you very much for watching i hope that you've learned something new this time and i will see you next time goodbye